Hey guys, Spreader here. Welcome back to Fishing North Atlantic. Here we are for another episode where we're back on the bully. We're going to try and get some cod, which is just there, which is good to see. Um, which one of these is shrimp? I don't know which one is shrimp. Let's go and work out which one is shrimp. Uh, where's our nets? Mackerel, krill, shrimp, mackerel. Let's go shrimp. So shrimp is going to attract the cod, hopefully. Uh, prepare that. There we go. Jump back in the cab. Look out for some um, more cod, hopefully. That should be... That's definitely cod there. So I know there's cod in the area, but how much cod, I don't know. Because at the moment, um, the price of cod at Yarmouth is six fifty nine, which is... Uh, what's that, a dollar forty above the average of five dollars twenty or a dollar thirty nine, so pretty close. Um, so I think it's going to be a decent spot for us to throw down a line out here. Let's just throw it down and, and see what happens, I guess. Um, how our work is going, everyone's good, nothing exciting going on with those guys. Um, I might throw in a cod like just here somewhere. I don't know how accurate that's going to be, but. We'll see how we go. So we'll run this out, it's a thousand meters, so it's gonna take us a while to run it out. But hopefully, as I said, we'll get some cod on there. So one thing I'd like to see with these lines, this looks like a line. There's no actual, um, like hooks on there. You can't really see any hooks. So maybe if I had some hooks dangling or something, would be um pretty cool. All right, so wait for this to get to the middle again. Bang, we'll throw down another cod right in the centre of the boat. We'll try and mark all the cod in this area, but I still haven't been able to find an area with a heap of seagulls and stuff, which has been a little bit disappointing. I don't know if you guys have found any yet. Um, not quite sure, but I definitely haven't found any. Keep an eye on this sonar. We'll do a bit of in cab driving. Uh, so that's obviously the current map that we've got. And there's nothing on the sonar again at the moment. Uh, where's our. There it is. Beautiful. Uh, what do we have there? Some tuna. Um, some haddock and a swordfish up the top? I think so. It's annoying how we have to use this, isn't it? Let's go. Oh, we can't go any further forward. Like, I wish when we clicked on this, it zoomed right in. Um, silver hake. There's another cod, which is good to see. Another tuna. So once this gets to the middle again, we'll throw out another cod. So the only thing is we're not, we're not really filling up like crazy on the sonar. Um, I've seen a few photos from other people that they've posted and their sonars are absolutely nuts with the amount of fish that they're finding. Just haven't had that luck as yet. So we may need to fish down here and then maybe head somewhere else. See what else we can find. But running this out a thousand meters should be should be good. It's going to take a little bit of time, but it should be good once it's done. God, I love this boat. This boat's pretty cool. I wish that the hull was bigger though. Only forty thousand kilos. I mean, 40,000 kilos is still quite a bit, but it's really not that much for the size of the boat, I guess. Would have thought it would have been a little bit more having it all but below deck. Like, there's a lot of room under here. Right, so there's some more haddock, redfish, silver hake. So there's a little bit of fish down here. Um, the redfish looks like it was going down this way, as you can see on the map. But they're from quite a while ago, so... Don't know how accurate that's going to be now. So what, 500 and 
65 meters, so we've still got a little bit to go. I think one long line here is going to fill our boat completely with 40,000 kilos of cod. We can get up to 170,000. So what we'll do is we'll, um, when we reel in the line, we'll do it ourselves. Whenever we get cod, we'll hit it to bring it on the boat. Anything else, we'll just miss and ignore it. We just want to try and fill the boat with cod, and that's it. Maybe Pollock, if, um, if that comes on board with the cod as well. So there's some Pollock here as well, that we can see. Zoom on in, some Pollock, some Shortfish. Yeah, I reckon this needs to be bigger. Or we need to be able to zoom in, like use our mouse wheel in and out to be able to zoom in and out. I don't know, it just seems too far away, like I can't get any closer. We can go up and down with our seat, but that's about it. Like I can't actually get any closer to the screen, and we shouldn't have to use binoculars to be able to see. I mean, even me leaning forward in my chair right to the screen, I still can't see it properly. So we haven't seen much cod from here down towards this redfish. Haven't seen any since that last one, of course, but um, a tuna. So the redfish should be in this area here somewhere, but redfish is only $2 a kilo, so we really need to find somewhere that is buying that like crazy, giving us a decent amount of money, which if we look at our finances and the prices, $222, $1.34, dollars uh, $1.70, $2.70, Point. So it's still not great, it really isn't. Um, see, cod's even dipped down a little bit, but still pretty good. But lobster and snow crab still pretty high. Um, everything else has kind of died. So eventually you might need to head back and do some more um, deep line fishing, I think, just to try and get the prices back up of the fish, try not to sell too much of it, and maybe just get some more tuna and swordfish in to sell. Right, so nearly 900 metres. So not too much more to go. We'll keep an eye on this area for redfish. I'd like to come back and try and get some redfish, but as I said, it's only $3 a kilo. So we're going to make $120,000 if we fill this right up. With the cod at the moment, we're probably going to make $240,000, $250,000 or so if we fill it right up. Alright, so some mackerel, some swordfish as well. Yeah, no cod for a long, long, long time. Is a little bit concerning. Alright, so let's turn this off. Let's go into our map. We can can that for now. Uh, oh, so what, what does that say? That says nine something. 993 meters. Should be a bit longer than that, but. Alright, let me make sure. The engine should be shut down, I think. Yep, there we go. Uh, we can rest from here, so let's go. Just straight forward 20 hours. Let's flick on some lights. Okay, our line is straight ahead. I want to keep an eye on um, the radar again. Sonar, not the radar. Just in case. Alright, so I'm going to go straight and then we'll swing left right at the last second. I think our um, sonar is in a really bad spot. There we go. Sonar. Our searchlight, I should say, is in a bad spot. There's some silver hake down here. Alright, let's go in nice and steady. Shut down the boat, we'll reel this in. Uh, looks like we don't have a great deal of cod on, but see how we go. Oh, actually, there's a couple. Only 14 
So I still haven't got any higher than that 15 as yet, but... I don't know, we'll see how we go. After this, I definitely need to find a really good spot, so I might need to spend a bit of time just looking around. We might even need to buy like a really, really fast boat just to go out and, you know, scout around a little bit, I guess. Right, looks like there's some good cod on there, actually. So we don't care about those guys. Yes, two more cod coming on. Another silver hake again. That's what I like to see, the perfects. Making sure we're filling this bad boy up with as much cod as we can. Uh, silver hake for the last two. I'm just going to miss them. And just hope we're full of cod. I don't know if we're going to be, but you never know. 20,000 kilos, so not quite. Bit of a bummer, but um, the girls can machine gut. The boys can go in and freeze. Um, what? We have another line over here. What are they? Mackerel... Krill, crab, mackerel. So what's krill going to get us? Uh, fish bait, krill is going to get us red fish. We, we could, we might as well. There's no point in leaving empty-handed. So let's um, go here. And I want to go, like, say, down here. So that's two days. So four. Let's go... 17, 15, 13, 11, 9, uh, uh, 7, about here, about there, that'll do. And um, we'll set course for down here. Get our autopilot going, and we'll see if we can find some um, redfish down here, I guess. That would be nice. Um, Alright, there we go, jump out. Found one straight away, so let's grab our krill. I can throw that up here ready to go. I'd like to see more than one redfish. So I guess we'll just wait and see if anything else sort of pops up. Because so I'm thinking, oh, that's the direction they're sort of heading. I mean, they might even be over here a little bit. Uh, let's go from there to there. And then, I don't know, down there, that'll do. Have a bit of a look again. Um, are you going to do your thing? Thank you. Let's see how we go. So I haven't even looked at their fresh fish. Frozen fish. Huge amount of cod. So, see, we've still got um, some haddock. Um... Olic, silver hake, redfish, so we've got a bit of everything. Even though the only thing we were trying to hit with the, um, uh, what do you call it, with our thingamabob, our hook. We're trying to hook just um, cod, but it still brings more than just cod on board, so I don't know how accurate that actually is. Right, so nothing since this tuna. for some redfish. Come on, redfish. Uh, what is the time? 6.30 in the morning. They're actually um, machine gutting really quick. How are you going? 1100, 1000. He's 921 and he's 921. So they're both the same. It's pretty good. Alright, we've got some um, mackerel in the area. Redfish, there we go, we'll just throw it down here. And just hope for the best. There's no guarantee this is going to be the next area where the redfish actually is, but... We'll give it a go, I guess. Right, we'll throw in a redfish here, and we'll just... 
see what happens if we happen to get any more or not. Not 100% sure if we're going to be able to. Right, let's go 500 meters. I want to go out and see how the girls are going. Still like a really weird animation in it. It is. Um, the engine stacks, there we go. It is a weird animation. So, still no more redfish since we last put down a marker. So I'm hoping we come across something else, but I just don't know. It's like, um, it's been really nerfed. I mean, it's good that it's not everywhere. Like, it's good that we have to actually go and, um, find the fish instead of just, you know, having someone pointing us in the right direction all the time. But being able to find a little bit more than just the odd fish here and there would be really nice. There's still nothing. It's, I don't know, it's weird. Really weird. Um, let's turn off the search light. We can get rid of that for now. We just... Yeah, nothing's coming up. Even the horn. So storage. Still got a little bit of fresh fish in there. Gutted, frozen. Ooh, there's a tuna. Yay! That's good to see. So the girls have still got to get through this and then the guys are eventually going to stack. We might move one of them over now. They're doing exactly the same amount I think. So you're stacking at 1003, you're freezing 921, so a little bit more. Stacking a little bit quicker than freezing, but uh, I can't see what that is. I think that's a, a Pollock it is. Yes, Pollock. I don't know why I double checked. I think I've got the hang of what's what now. I just still get confused sometimes. But yeah, that redfish is um not a lot in the area. Now there's some haddock down here, which is good. But I'm not seeing, you know, tons and tons on the screen, which I would sort of hope to see. A little bit of a bummer. So I think I will move the girls both over to help. Just because they can actually level up as well then. Ah, oh, okay, come on. There's just nothing. Nothing. That was something. Silver hake, not what I want. Let's um go out here. Jump up on the roof. Uh, where's the front of the boat? This way. I always get confused which way is the front. So I don't even you know, zooming in like this, I don't know how well it's gonna show us seagulls and stuff. Definitely not seeing seagulls. I'm seeing boats and stuff. I can't even see if I've done a full 360 yet or not. So I think that's a boat. Oh, it's going to get bright. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Might have to be a daytime thing to try and find where all the. Hey, what happened over there? Which way is that? That's like that way. This dude is just like trawling down here. Is that? Yeah, that must be him there. 
And he's having a bit of an issue. Or is that the super cat thing? Let's hope it's a super cat and he's destroyed it so we don't actually run into him ever again. Yeah, I certainly can't see any any seagulls or anything. Um, we pretty much drove over nothing again. Ah, uh, the girls are done, so you just can go and help the boys out a little bit. Just about to finish throwing this long line out. So once the freezing is done, I'll move move them both back over. Um, Alright, let's go. Oop. Like that. That should be done. I know, not quite. Any minute now. I'll get machine gutting done. We've still got half a boat. Now, I don't know where the best price of redfish is going to be, whether it's going to be worthwhile going to Yarmouth or somewhere else, but... Yeah, I don't know. So both the girls can go there. You can go there and help. You can both have some food. And we will travel to here. Um, Alright. Shut the boat down. Now they're going. They're going to need... Let's go four hours. Victor's gone up and stacking, they both have good. He's going to both come to here. Emma can cook again. Uh, so let's go four hours again. Yeah, we can rest another four hours. So let's make it five so she can get all those meals cooked. Uh, she can go back resting. Now we need to go, say, another ten hours. Boom, there we go. Let's grab searchlight as well. Let's go and grab um, this line, I guess. Yeah, 20 hours. Hopefully we can get a oh, hopefully we can get um, a decent amount of redfish. Even a, a, some more cod would be nice. Let's have a look and see exactly what we've got. So 12,000 kilos of cod, some pollock, some haddock, silver hake and redfish. Not much redfish but not that concerned about that to be honest. Come on. Got the side thrusters gone but they're not working overly well. Oh, stop, slow down. There we go, we'll haul this in. Alright, I think I just want to target all the redfish and cod. Just hope that we still get another 20,000 kilos. Oh, there's some cod as well after these couple of redfish. Only a good, which is a bummer. Right, another redfish. Some haddock, a couple of haddocks. Some more redfish at the end there. Yep, okay, we'll get we'll get the last three here. Make sure we get these guys on just in case. Try and fill the boat right up. I see we're only still at 13. Still haven't got above 15 yet. Oh, there we go, 14,000. So we probably could have done with getting a bit more, but ah, whatever. Whatever. Right, let's go freeze and stack. Wait for the girls to come out. Alright, there we go. Uh, we'll look at the finances. So obviously, Yarmouth is where we're going to take the cod 658 that's actually changed again hasn't it 
It has, okay, um, 2.22 for Redfish. 2.68 for Lockport. So Dennis Point for Red, Redfish, which should be here. Dennis Point and then Yarmouth. So Dennis Point for the Redfish and Yarmouth for everything else, I think. I guess we'll work that out when we get closer to Dennis Point. Right, let's head like in here somewhere. Let's have a look and see. They're done. These are both pretty much done anyway. There we go. Let's go a little bit further forward. Another hour. And they should all be done. Done, done. They don't need to eat. That just gives them their stamina back quicker. So I'm not going to worry about that. Um, clear that. We'll go Dennis Point. Now we'll check and see what the prices are at each. Right, so map, we'll go finance for Yarmouth. $274.43. Okay, so Pollock and Haddock can go here. And Redfish. And Silver Hake. Yep, everything except for Cod can go here. Right, we'll sell, yes, everything except for Cod. It's going to give us 67,000, so. I mean, Silver Hake's bad, Redfish is good, Pollock's down, average for Haddock. Uh, very bad, what was that? 250, it's a very bad price. So we'll sell that catch. We'll go and refuel. Let's go fishing gear, bait. We've got two mackerel. Uh, what do you want? Shrimp. Oh, okay. Shrimp and shrimp for cod, depending on the prices. There we go. And then we'll head to. Yarmouth, Yarmouth, and sell the rest of our cod. Yes, 120,000, it's a pretty good. Sell all that, so we're at 433 again at the moment. Um, I should have looked for, should have looked for some tips back there. Mackerel, tuna, mackerel doesn't help us at all at the moment. Uh, tuna from a week ago, so where are they here? So the tuna's certainly heading that way now, I think. That's going to be too shallow for tuna over here. So the tuna's going to be in this area, which isn't helpful. See, there's so many boats down here, and there's not many over this side. So I'm thinking maybe we need to come down in here and have a look really do. Um, let me have a look at our fishing gear. So we've got two mackerel, two shrimp. So I need three more. Three more 10,000. Go bait. So crab, crab, mackerel, shrimp. We'll go two with krill. So we've got two of everything then. That should be okay. Um, I said there's no new tips. Mackerel doesn't help us. Can we borrow any money? 370,000. Let's look at the shipyard again. I've got the Dexter, the old Moby D. I need 10 knots. The Coastern, the Northwestern. Or the Dexter, which is obviously the bottom trawler. I mean, I'd like to get to that, but just for that price, five, nearly 5 mil, just, yeah. Not that great at the moment, but um, right out, guys. We'll uh, we'll end the episode here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this series so far. If you want to see it continue, if you guys are new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been pretty Thanks for watching. See you again soon.